thing I'm going to do is to make the salsa. I'm using parsley today. Coriander is fantastic in here. So I've got some toasted hazelnuts. I have tomatoes here, I have some red onion. I'm just chopping the red onion quite finely. Give it a nice, lovely, fine, fine, fine. Little, little, little dice. Onions here for the salsa. Now I'm just going to go these little cherry tomatoes. I might just cut them in maybe in quarters, but like half them or quarter of them. These are cute little ones. I've got in here hazelnuts, tomatoes, finely chopped red onion. I'm going to put a little bit of sherry vinegar or balsamic vinegar if you can't find sherry vinegar. And mix it around and taste it. I'm going to add in some chopped herbs. You could use a little pinch of sugar in here just to help bring up the flavor a bit because you want, you know, the tomatoes should taste like they've been ripening gently mm. in the sun. Actually, and then nuts really give us another little texture, obviously, and flavor that I think just works quite well. Oh, great, and the water's come up to the boil already for the fish. So I just need to add some salt in. A nice, good, big pinch of salt for that. I will just do a little bit of preparation for the fish and actually slice it. And then I'm going to just cut this into little collops, little slices. Water has come up to the boil for the monkfish, so I'm going to pop that in to cook. Drain the monkfish. So just very simply, some monkfish on the plate. Just take some of the salsa and really just simply serve it on top. I want to get some of the juicy bits in the bottom. 